Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode here on the Iron Man Profile. Today we're doing a little bit of a different grind, but there's a lot of Skyblock XP available from a certain area of dungeons that I've kind of been neglecting. So, um, yeah, we should be leveling up and getting a bunch of Skyblock XP today, which is always fun in my books as we push towards level 400. So if you guys are excited for that, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And without further ado, let's jump right into today's video. Super quickly, though, before we get straight into today's video, if you guys do find yourself checking on the Hypixel store for some Skyblock gems, uh, for booster cookies or a rank or an upcoming fire sale, don't forget to use my career code, code Zach. That's Z-A-C-H, just like my name, for 5% off your purchase. It's a great way to support myself and the channel, and you can save some money on the new seasonal bundles that are going on. We have a bunch of new Lunar skins and some Valentine's Day skins that you guys can pick up for a limited time. So if you do pick them up, let me know in the comments down below. But without further ado, let's jump right into today's video. Today we start out on a grind that I've been wanting to do for a long time and is honestly, for the beginning parts at least, going to be easier than I thought. There is a ton of Skyblock XP locked behind boss collections. For those of you who don't know, if we go ahead and actually take a look, uh, is it, I don't think it's under dungeon task, is it? Okay, now I'm struggling. Slaying task? I think it's slaying task. Boss collections. As you can see, I'm only 68.5% of the way through this. Nearly gotten seven levels from it. I have over three levels of XP behind basically completing various dungeon floors, which is kind of crazy. And a lot of the XP is locked behind very little work. For example, if we go ahead and look at the Bonzo collection, I've only done 59 uh, floor ones on this profile. And as you can see, at 100 run completions, I get 15 XP, 150, another 25, 250, another 25. So I have 65 Skyblock XP behind the first 250 runs, basically. And because they made it so when you do a Master Mode run, it counts as two, that's actually only like 95 runs. And then I get 65 Skyblock XP. And these runs take like two to three minutes to do so um yeah that's not too bad if we go ahead and look at scarf um i am literally so close to another 25 skyblock xp here and then another 50 uh m2s after that i'll be at another 25 if we go and look at floor three i am 25 m3s away from 25 skyblock xp that is well over a level worth of xp we just looked at not to mention i'm uh like 55 56 m5s away from another 25 and the diamond head so yeah for like a couple hundred runs like literally almost like less than 200 runs i have like nearly two levels of skyblock xp just sitting there waiting for me so i think it's time we hop into some like m1s m2s kind of just chill our way through and uh i'll be back with some progress and uh hopefully we can get some skyblock xp today i'm gonna start off with some m2s because it's the one i am closest to and um yeah so not many to do but a lot of Skyblock XP waiting for me. The first real test with uh, M2 is, uh, I mean, I haven't done M2 run in forever. I'm going to be honest. I'm, I'm mainly more excited for M3 through 5, mainly because I need the, uh, the Master Stars, and hopefully we can get some at least, on our journey. And so for those ones, I will probably be going for S pluses just because I would love to have a stockpile of master stars but those floors are pretty quick like m5 specifically that boss fight is so fast m4 being on the more tedious side m3 also super easy very quick run small clearing amount of space like it's it doesn't take long to actually clear the run but i'm very curious like can i actually solo m2 is that possible with like the five different mobs you have to kill like the four kind of uh mini bosses and then um scarf so that that's our first question if i can solo this this is gonna be pretty free i'm gonna be honest and i can just kind of chill watch some watch some shows or a movie and kind of just turn off my brain and rush blood and then work my way through so now it is time for the uh the moment of truth basically can i actually kill all these by myself i can't even remember how much health they have he has 375 mil which honestly is a little bit so there's a chance i can't i'm gonna be completely honest we're going to find out. Uh, I think I've tried soloing M2 before, and it didn't actually go my way to say... Why am I getting turned? Oh, oh my goodness, that's annoying. Stop turning my crosshair, bro. Okay, so once I, like, figure out the order to do this, it should be okay. Um, okay, those kind of got shredded. Is there anything else left? Any mobs? I don't think so. Now, the question is, can I just focus him? And take him down he's talking right okay he is yeah so now the moment of truth to be honest okay actually that kind of hurts not gonna lie but luckily i can okay you know what no I, I feel like we can do this i just need to figure out like how to kill him like do i need to gyro him that might be the strat right 
Uh, let's see if we can take him out. We should be able to. It's a little sketch. I should probably have my gyro on me, I'm gonna be honest. Okay. No, it's doable, though. It is very doable. Okay. Yeah, once I get used to it and, like, what to kill in what order, what I can get away with, then we should be chilling. Uh, yes, please. I have, like, none of those saved up. That I will take. Okay, wait, I actually got something I, I low-key kind of need. That's funny. Um, but yeah, there we go. That was a run. Took me a little over three minutes, which isn't the best time, obviously, doing it solo. Um, we need 25 more completion points, which is about 12 or 13, um, M2s. So, yeah, I mean, honestly, I, I can do that 12 or 13 more times, I think. I, I feel like that went pretty well. Okay, I think I'm figuring it out a little bit. I think this is my third run, but basically, when, uh, when you're on the scarf phase, I'm pretty sure... Also, this second warrior, man, he needs to stop making me look at him. Holy... I'm pretty sure in the uh, scar phase when he spawns, like he doesn't take damage until the priests are gone. Um, so I need to kill the priests first, which here's here's where one died. Uh, where'd the other one die actually? Um, over there somewhere maybe. Okay, but yeah, I basically need to kill like his little NPCs, otherwise he just like doesn't really take any damage. So uh, yeah, let me go ahead and take care of those, and now I can actually damage him. So if I go like that. How's that work? Okay, yeah, that's that's pretty good. Okay, so basically, I just need to kill the priest. Otherwise, he, like, is literally just perma at his health. So that's good to know. And uh, that'll make it a little bit easier moving forward, obviously. You never know what could be in these chests. Always worth checking. And I'll take my free one for uh, a couple of uh, couple essence, you know? Why not? But, um, yeah. I think, I think I got this down pat now. Let me just run through these. Okay, this should be our last one, so I thought I'd bring you guys with. I have the strap down, I think, kind of. I mean, they're still scuffed, but they're, they're runs nonetheless, so I can't really complain. But I killed the warriors first, basically make my way around, because the warriors just, like, make you, like, lock onto them nonstop. It's kind of annoying. So, um, yeah, got to take care of these guys first. There we go. Taken care of. I make my way over to the mages, take care of them. Then the archers, don't mind if I do. I remember like when I first made my way to M2, like this floor was so scary. The fact that I can just like do this while like not really paying attention is kind of insane. See, I say that and this will be like the first run I fail or something. But um, yeah, so far we've been doing pretty good. So let's go ahead and take out the warriors. Uh, I may as well take out the mages while I'm coming through. Maybe the archers as well. The priest, that's, uh, these are the important ones to really take out. Then we make our way out here. Go ahead like so. And, uh, basic- Oh my goodness, why is he hurting me this run? What is going on? As soon as I say it's my last one, he's like, he wants to smoke, bro. What's going on? Either way, taking care- Oh, don't go in the little fire pit there when he's, uh, blowing up or something. But, there we go. Uh, all complete. And that was our collection run, if I'm not mistaken. Go and take my free chest. Let's go ahead into our collections. Boss collections, yes. So, 25 Skyblock XP and an Adaptive Blade. Don't mind if we do. Boom, and that should level us up. There we go, level 392. Not too shabby at all, man. 796 more levels until level 400. Level 400 is massive for a lot of reasons, by the way. Not only is it like just so clean, like seeing you go up like a, a whole hundred is like so satisfying, we also get the gold level prefix, and we also get the final upgrade to the Book of Progression. So uh, that's going to be a mythic accessory, which is super nice. But yeah, there we go. Maybe I'll go mess around with some M1s now. Um, yeah, probably going to do that. Uh, I could do M3s, but I kind of want to party for that one. So I might wait. I might go mess around and finally get my golden bonzo head, honestly. It, it's about time, but either way, 25 skyblock XP, and we leveled up. You love to see it. I must say, M1 is probably even more chill than uh, M2, as I made sure my recording software was open. Basically, kill this dude, kill the undeads, and then... Oh, oh there we go. He did spawn. But yeah, that, that's the boss fight. That's it. It's done. And uh, yeah, I've just been doing this nonstop. I've already done a decent amount of runs. How many more do we have left? I'll wait for it to tick over so it counts as done. Beautiful, we go ahead and check our boss collection real quick. We're at 81 out of 100 towards that, uh, that like, collection milestone. So, we're getting there. I still find it insane that I don't have a golden bonzo head yet. That's the only, uh, dungeon head I don't have in gold yet. Which is kind of crazy. It's like the first floor, you know? But I, I guess I got my stuff pretty quick and no real reason to turn back until now. Um, so, yeah, kind of just what it is. Also, 
One thing that's brutal when you're blood rushing, when you get like big rooms like this, you gotta run all over the place to get all the starred mobs. Not enjoyable. Uh, I prefer when it's just like a quick little mini boss and then I'm, I'm on to the next room type of thing, but you know, uh, beggars can't be choosers, so. We'll take it, and uh, yeah, I'm just gonna keep on blood. Oh my goodness, this is probably the worst room to clear when you're blood rushing. This one just has so many mobs for no reason. So, um, okay, I guess uh, as soon as I start recording, I get a little unlucky, but it is what it is. I'm just gonna kind of make my way through. Luckily, it's only a uh, two doors to blood, so it could be worse, but yeah, this happens sometimes. My favorite though are when it's like two doors and they're both just like little mini bosses I gotta take care of. And the key didn't pick up. Great. Uh, there we go. Okay. Anyways, into the boss fight. So it's been a little while since our last clip. And uh, basically last time we left off, we got our collection for floor twos hitting 150 runs. Since then, I've done more M2s and we're now up to 208 out of 250 towards our next milestone. So that's another uh, 25... 28 runs i did basically so not too shabby they take a couple minutes each they're a little tedious but honestly kind of enjoyable but one thing that's not going to be fun to look at is the motivation is like looking at the next milestone being not too far away and the gap from 250 to 1000 is honestly disgusting just for 25 skyblock xp so we're gonna be putting that off for a while but uh we'll do scar 5 relatively soon i also went and did a bunch of m1s actually so we went from like 50 something in collection to now we're at 98 so, um, yeah, we only need to do one more M1, and then we can get our Golden Bonzo head. So I thought we'd go ahead and do that relatively quickly. Shouldn't take long. M1's, like, super chill. The boss fight's, like, really quick. It's, it's like, a two-minute run max. So let me go ahead and get to the boss fight, and then we can go ahead and uh, actually get our milestone, which will be super nice. So, yeah, I'll be back in just a minute. Alrighty, we're into the boss fight. I don't know how much of the M1 boss fight I've shown. I did quite a few runs since we last checked in, but... Uh, yeah, M1 boss fight is pretty chill. Basically, he runs wherever. And I just pin him up against the wall, taken care of, kill the undeads, and then, uh, oh, there's one more undead. And then go like so, and Bonzo's gone. Yeah, pretty chill boss fight, not gonna lie. That's like sub two minutes, but uh, then there's like the little waiting period. So a little over two minutes, but yeah, you guys get the gist. It is very quick. But that right there should be our boss collection, which is super nice. Let me go and grab our free chest. Hop into the collections menu. Let's see if we can actually get lucky and get anything on it as well. But golden bonzo head. There we go. And uh, nothing on it, unfortunately. But 15 skyblock XP, which is super nice. I've also been getting a couple of bestiary tiers along the way. Just from like various low level dungeon mobs. So that's super nice to be working towards as well. And um, yeah, that puts us at 21 out of 100 towards level 393. So yeah, we are getting there. And uh, 779 more XP to go until level 400. So unfortunately, I think that's going to be all the time I have for this one. Um, we ended up doing a bunch of runs, though. Like, we got a... Did we do... Yeah, we did a, a M2 milestone, getting the Adaptive Blade for 25 XP. We did an M1 milestone, getting the Golden Bonzo Head. And I'm actually really close to the next uh, M2 milestone. And then we're 50 away from M3, 50 away from M1. So, yeah. We have a lot of XP coming in relatively soon, but I did like 60 runs uh, for today's video. So if you guys did end up enjoying it and you guys want to see more um, kind of boss collection runs the same way I kind of did this one, let me know in the comments down below. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you guys did enjoy. Use code Zach when checking out in the Hypixel store. But that's it for me today, and I can't wait to see you guys in the next one. Take care, and peace out.